Fritz, why did you not tell me? How dare you hide this from me? When did you find out who she was? Princess, before you continue, there's something I need to tell you. Hegarty, no, shut up! Shut up, Hegarty! Seriously, Princess, this is important. You're not gonna believe this. Hegarty, shut up! Fine, what is it? Well, that girl we broke out of prison and brought here, the very same girl that is in the other room, is actually your sister! Oh, Hegarty, you fool. <coughs> I'm sorry, Princess. We were going to tell you. I tried at the prison, but the alarm went off, and we had to leave. Honestly, I- Enough, Romulus. I actually feel a lot better now I let some anger out. Cracking that idiot over the head has actually helped a lot. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Princess, and I'm sorry you didn't hear sooner. Look, it's okay. Wake that idiot up and meet me in the dining room. We have plans to discuss. Yes, Princess. At once. for joining me here. Firstly, I want to start by thanking you all for your help, but it's time to get down to business. I don't want to waste any more time. I'm tired of waiting around. I want my sisters dead. Excuse me, our sisters. It's time they face their faith. We need weapons and ammunition. We can't do this without firepower. But where do we get it? Leave that to me. Let's just say I know a guy. Excellent. Now let's finish this. Double down on defenses. I want everyone on guard. If an attack is to happen, then we have to be ready. No excuses. Is that clear, guard? Loud and clear, your highness. We will put 24-hour watch on your daughters. They're in safe hands. Good, but don't stand too close. I don't want my daughters to know anything is wrong. They are getting along so great and life is wonderful for them right now. I don't want to ruin that. Understand? I do. I will tell my men to be extra cautious. Anything else, your highness? That's all for now. Thank you, God. Dr. Garrigan, it's so good to see you, my friend. I'm sure you've heard the news. Yes, the detective called me. This is a nightmare, your highness. I still can't believe it. I know. Me too. She's more cunning now than we ever could have imagined. Nobody has ever escaped from Alcatraz before. I know, your highness. It's crazy. And what about the Grimes? Surely they'll have to be informed. They could be in danger now too, right? No, doctor. Nobody is to know she escaped. It will just cause panic, and everyone has started moving on with their lives. I don't want to worry anyone. But, your highness, surely people have to know. Evil little Kelly is about to wage war on the Magical Kingdom. Doctor, my decision is final. Nobody is to know. We can deal with this. Trust me. I do. I trust you, your highness. I just hope you're right.
damage to locate any? As a matter of fact, I did. We should be expecting a delivery in the next couple of hours. And do you think it'll be enough to attack the kingdom? Let's just say these weapons will make the magical kingdom look like a firework. Good. And remember, Joker, Little Kelly and Little Curly are mine. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Let me know when the delivery arrives. I have a delivery send myself. What about the other inmates that helped her escape? Who are they? We believe they are still helping her as we speak. There's the Joker, Bane, and Romulus. Romulus? But I thought he was dead. I'm afraid not. He helped them escape. Hegarty is with them as well. That little rat! And there's also someone else, one more, but we don't know who it is. What do you mean? There was no record of that inmate in the prison. It's like they have no identity, like they don't exist. That's very strange, your highness. Excuse me, your highness, there's been a delivery for you, but the strange thing is there's no sender. Here you go. Thank you, Peter. That's strange. No sender. What's wrong, your highness? You look like you've seen a ghost. It's a message from evil little Kelly. What? What does it say? It says, I'm coming. 